Today I'm doing a DIY on a folder for your car registration. Mine measures eight and a half by five and a half. So here I am doing all the measurements. I'm scoring the top uh, of the card for for um, for um, half an inch for because uh, I'm making it kind of like a hinge kind of folder. And so um, the reason why I'm doing this, I oh the paper I cut it um, eight and three quarters by six. Anyways, on Thursday, uh, which was yesterday, no, I think it was on Tuesday, I uh, went to drop off my son off at school and I, um, I, I got into a little fender bender. There was no injuries, no damages to the car, but um, when I tried to find my car registration, it took me a while to find it because there was so much junk in it. My car um, glove box is a catch for all in my car. So you can imagine, I have my son's junk in there, I have my daughter's junk in there, and every time they get a piece of paper or a car or receipt, it's just full of junk in there. I have to um, organize it. But, um, also, I think that in my haste to find my registration information and my car insurance, it took me longer than normal. So I thought, this is crazy. And um, so what I'm, I'm, I decided to do in order for me to find it uh, sooner and keep it all together and make it uh, organized was a car registration folder. So as you can see, I made a frame that's a, a quarter inch all the way around except for the top because that's where the hinge is going to go. And here I am adding a piece of acetate for the window. And I'm cutting uh, little quarter inch strips to, to uh, sandwich the acetate in between the folder and the, two, and the pieces that I'm cutting here, as you can see. So... Um, I'm going to add these all around to make a frame for it. And then on top of that, I'm going to place the back of the folder. And I'm using uh, Aline's Tacky Glue, just in case you were wondering. And so here I am wrapping the fabric around both of the, the piece that I put in and the acetate. And that will keep everything nice and secure. Make sure not to touch the acetate because to you will leave fingerprints on the on it. And as you can see, I had not yet cut the acetate, so um, I should have done it beforehand, but I never plan. I just do everything. I get an idea in my head, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll do that. So here I am covering the back of it. I'm only leaving like a quarter inch around uh, fabric around the cardboard quarter inch of fabric so I could wrap it around and that way it's not so bulky and I don't want it to show in the window either so I, I make sure that it's only like a quarter inch and here I am folding everything over and pulling as I go along so there's no wrinkles on it and no um, so that everything is nice and neat <coughs> as you can see I'm using the glue all around so I think this is going to help me find uh, the car registration documents and my insurance faster because it's in a folder and it, it's, um, I will, it, I think it'll keep everything together. <coughs> okay, so here's the, the frame that I made with uh, the cardboard and what I'm doing here is cutting the acetate. And then on top of that, I'm going to put the, the backing that I just made. And then here I am cutting <coughs> the top of the folder. <coughs> First I sprayed it with the spray and I laid the material over it. And all the, one, all the excess material, I glue it on with the tacky glue. And remember to pull and make it nice and tight so that it looks nice and neat. <coughs> Here I am. I decided to make a pocket for the registration and also like a little notebook to put, like in case I ever get into an accident, I could write that, write down the information on there. And um, also don't forget when you get into an accident to not only take the other person's registration, if possible take a picture of it just in case you misspell it or something. 
uh, but also take a picture of the damages of the vehicle because that's really important and um, make sure you get everything nice and clear when you write try not to get nervous I know when I even though there was no accident no uh, damages to the car or to our bodies we um, I still got a little nervous I hadn't been in an accident in a long time but as you can see I'm only doing the um, the glue on the top on the si and on the sides on the bottom is going to stay open so that I could slip the registration document in there and so here I am there's the pocket that I made and here I am gluing the two pieces together and as you can see it's kind of like a hinge uh, opening make sure you glue everything and that's fabric glue that I use to uh, to do the little pocket with and also to add the pieces together so here I am doing uh, clamping it together so that it can dry and it has to dry for 24 hours and this is the E600 fabric glue in case you were wondering which is what I always use in my videos now the top of the of the folder it's opened it, and it has a so I want to make like a I want to cover it all and also I think it'll keep the folders more securely together so I'm making sure that it measures the same width as the as the folder so that it, it fits nice and, and everything is neat and since I don't sew, I, I didn't, I don't, I tried to do it like a no sew thing. So I'm just gluing everything together. And as you can see, I'm folding everything together. And then this is going to cover the top. That doesn't have anything. See all that white area? And then the top is also uncovered. So that's why I decided to put this piece of fabric. But I don't know if you can tell, the, the side is a little bit too long. So here I am opening it before the glue dries. And just... Uh, making it a little bit sh um, shorter and I cut the tips off because I noticed that some of them were coming out too so there I am uh, covering all the exposed cardboard with the glue and everything and then there's folding it over and now everything is covered nice and neat and um, I'm going to clamp the top so that it makes sure that it dries very well and, and stays together and as you can see there's a folder with the acetate and then there's a little folder that I put in there okay so this is the folder um, once it's dried I'm removing the clamps and when you open it this is what it looks like and it stays closed you have to actually physically open it um, as you can see there's a pocket here and then this is the pocket where the registration is going to go and it goes in pretty easy so there's a registration and the reason why I did it th like this is so that you don't have to pull it out of the pocket when you show it and then this is a receipt that I got when I went to pay for it. So I'm just going to fold it up. Put it in the little pocket back here. And then this is my insurance information. And so I'm going to take it out of this envelope, which is where it was in my car. And I'm also going to fold it up and stick it in here. So now everything is together nice and neat. I'm also going to insert this little book that I made. I remember, uh, if you guys remember my, my other video, I showed you um, that these have the months on top. And then in the blue section, it has all the days of the week. So that way, if I ever get into an accident, I can circle the month and the day that everything happened and then write down the information. And I'm going to include um, this pen with this um, um, clip that holds the pen together in in the folder so there's a little book and it's super thin so it's perfect it's not going to add any bulk to it and then just on the bottom if I want to close the folder and keep it closed I can add this clip or on the side wherever I want because nothing will fall out of it and there you go
there's the folder. If I want to add the pen on the side, I can also do that too. And it, I could do it to just one side. It doesn't have to be both sides. So there's a folder. You open it to your registration and your insurance information. And the little notebook are in this folder. So there you go. I hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, please hit like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.